morning, welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jan and we milk about 320 cows here in Saskatchewan, Canada. We milk those cows twice a day in our double 12 De Laval parallel milking parlor. I'm gonna grab the first group this morning. It's just after 4 a.m. We're gonna bring them into the holding area. Then I'm gonna be in the barn over there in the freestall barn, cleaning, scraping those alleys. While we have another guy in the parlor doing the actual milking. So let's go grab that first group. We're in group one, which is actually our older group of cows. So this is second lactation and higher. Uh, while we walk through, we're raking the beds clean. We're taking any milk out. We do milk two times a day, and that leads to a bit of milk leaking in the bed. So we'll be raking any of that out, as well as any manure or anything else we see in the beds. The goal with that, so obviously keep the cows nice and clean, and also it keeps the bacteria out of the beds and off the cow's udders. you guys could see that but there was a cow here standing in front of the lady that was being milked and they were kind of head butting she was just bugging her and you'll see that sometimes in the parallel parlor it can actually do a couple things like it can make the cow fall down or it can make her hold her milk up if she's more concentrated on head butting with another cow she just won't let that milk go and it can slow her milking down quite a bit it doesn't happen too often but when we do see it we're pretty quick to chase the cow away kind of unfair she's stuck there for that other cow to be bullying her like that Getting close to done milking here. Um, there's a calf that just calved on the close up pack though, so we're gonna grab it to put it in the calf barn, and then we'll put that fresh cow that just calved her heifer, we'll put that one on the fresh milking pack. I guess that's the heifer that calved it. The calf is on the other side of the fence. That's a baby heifer. Very small little bugger. Well, I finished milking, cleaned the parlor, and Miriam came and told me some pretty cool news. So uh, I guess about nine months, I guess probably a little over nine months ago, you took the AI course. Yeah. 
And uh, you got your first two calves on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Two heifers. Good job. Yeah. Is probably sex semen you used or? Uh, for her, yes. I don't know about her. Cool, well, congratulations. It's pretty cool. Last thing we're gonna do before lunch is put bedding in our straw pack barn. This side has about 40 cows and this side has about 40 cows too right now. So we got about 80 cows in our pack barn, which is a lot. That means we're gonna be doing a lot of bedding. This side with the milking pack on it, yeah, we're giving it about three bales every two days. And this side is maybe three bales every four or five days. So we're ripping through bales right now, keeping this pack barn bedded properly. Uh, the bales we are using though, they do not have a lot of straw. We bought them off a of farmer without looking at them before we paid for them. And uh, they just are maybe half as dense as ours. So we are going through more bales than we probably should if they were heavy packed bales, but um, it is what it is. We're just uh, putting the straw in there. I'm gonna open up the gates. Dad's grabbing the new Holland wheel loader and he's gonna be bringing the bales in. I'm gonna cut the twine off or the net wrap and then he's gonna shake them out. So works pretty nice if you can do it with two people. Otherwise this job would probably take close to an hour, maybe not quite an hour, maybe 45 minutes, but it's a bit of work to do. I had to leave dad, put bedding in. He was gonna finish it there. Maxime, our feeder, he called me and he says he's out of whey permeate and barley. So I gotta go turn the hammer mill on at the new feed mill setup. So everything starts up with just uh, the press of this button. Pretty neat. I don't know if I showed you guys that. We had to build a room around the hammer mill for insurance reasons. That's done now. So now one of those bins is filling up. It's heading up the green leg right here. You can see that turning. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, now that this whole setup is up and running, it's pretty awesome. I'm pulling from that far bend right now. It's going into the drag, into the hammer mill, up this grain leg and into the bin right here, where it's then augered out into the feed wagon. It's pretty convenient, but it's also just a lot of fun. So now that hammer mill, the grain leg, the drag, it's all running and it will all automatically shut off. There's a sensor in this bin. Once it gets full, it'll kill everything. And that's how we come to it every time. We just gotta restart it. Kinda getting spoiled with the weather out here today. It's three degrees above freezing. So uh, this is why we picked this afternoon to take this corral out, take the collars off of them, and uh, bring the next set of ladies up from the corral below them. 
So there's about 30 heifers in here, 35 maybe. We gotta take their collars off so we can put them on the next set. Yeah, they know where the where the exit is. Yeah, I don't know how many. Ten. Hey! Come on, ladies, stick your head in there. So yeah, this curl, we're just, we're gonna write the numbers down, of course, but we're just taking the collars off. So these heifers should now all be pregnant. They're gonna be going in a corral with a cleanup bull. So that guy's gonna make sure that these ladies are all pregnant. We're gonna put them in that corral, which is corrals six and seven. Then we're gonna grab their replacements, the next set of ladies that needs to be bred, and they're in corral three. We're gonna put those collars that we just took off of these ladies straight back on. Uh, those activity collars, they will deactivate if they sit still for more than, I believe, 48 hours. So you always wanna put those on right away. Otherwise, you have to run them through a scanner again, which is kind of inconvenient for us. And we gotta bring them to the barn then in the parlor or that sword gate. So we always wanna put those collars straight back on. Finished it up. Uh, it's quarter to six in the evening right now. It's already getting pretty close to dark. Luckily, we got a nice yard light by the chute. Got all the collars on the next group of ladies. They're going back into corral two right now. It is nice to work here. It's not cold either. It's only, it's still hovering around zero degrees. So pretty nice evening to work on cows. Dennis, the guy that trucks for us for silaging just showed up with a load of straw bales. He's been trucking quite a few bales around for us this fall, which has been awesome. I just showed up to the yard with another load of straw bales. So I'm gonna go see if I can film that in the dark here and uh, watch that truck unload. That's gonna be it for today's video. Unloading that truck went pretty good. Uh, and I think it was worthwhile going out there filming it in the dark. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.